I've only got into about seven or eight pounds of booze, except for that one time I did hit wastegate pressure, which is 12 PSI. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Welcome back to the Rev Too Late Racing Channel. Today is finally the day, at least I think, that we're gonna try to fire this thing up. I got my torque converter back from Circle D. They sent me the wrong one. And after a couple weeks, they sent that back to me. We got the transmission back out and we're gonna put that torque converter back in there. Finished a couple of the small plumbing things up there. Run the Holly Terminator X and some other random things that might prevent us from starting it today. But that is the goal. <laughs> All right, so we got the transmission back up in there. The torque converter is in. First bolt is also in. Dipstick, uh, mount, all of that for yes. the last time, hopefully. Yes. Hopefully, yes. No. So <laughs> we're going to put the training bolts in. That's what he's working on, cranking the motor over right there. We're going to move to the top probably and knock out some of that small stuff. Yeah, if it wasn't an LS, we could hit this bump the starter ah uh, yeah uh -huh. all right guys we got the transmission up in there i even got my drive shaft in now it's been a few days since the last clip but we ended up having to take the oil pan out getting the bungs welded anyway it's been a hell of a time but we got the starter all wired up the oil pan is back in torque converter is tightened down this thing is coming together finally um i got my bungs welded on the radiator and the radiator hoses made i will let it down and show you guys more of that going to continue working on the wiring i guess you got the holly computer mounted or i'm working on getting them mounted running all the wiring the spark plug wires are done the coils are mounted this thing is coming together pretty fast finally so we got to get the computer mounted and then this relay mounted we got a board up underneath the firewall under there so we just got to run all these wires one to the pump one to um, constant power another one to ignition and cranking power all right guys i got the computer and my relay all cleaned up and i actually tried velcroing it to this board which it worked at first but for this relay it didn't work i don't know why but it is all mounted up in there that is all tucked in that is almost ready to start up Got my screen wired in over here and the shifters mounted all nice. Got my seats back in. We're going to turn the Holly system on and let the fuel system circulate to see if we got any leaks in there. Hopefully I don't have to take the intake off, but who knows? So we turned the key on and started circulating fuel through this thing and there was leaks everywhere. We ended up having to take the intake off like twice, I think two or three times to tighten up all the fittings, but it is all good now. So my, my buddy bike's gonna come over, he's gonna put a tune in it, and then we're gonna try firing this thing up for the first time. All right guys, so I'm not gonna lie, it's a couple days later after getting this thing started up for the first time. I got too excited and forgot to video a lot of stuff. Uh, we did get a clip of it starting up, which is what I'm gonna show right now. guys so unfortunately that is all the videoing i did that day like i said i just got really excited and didn't get any videoing done but that sometimes that's how that goes so we're, what we're gonna do is matt's gonna get in there he's gonna start it up so i'm gonna give you guys the turbo noise because i know that's what everybody's here to see anyway so go ahead and fire that thing up dude too fat bud <laughs> 
It sounds so good. Do it. So yeah, I've drove it around a little bit and it is unreal. It is way more than I expected and I've only got into about seven or eight pounds of booze except for that one time I did hit wastegate pressure which is 12 PSI. I don't know how that happened. But the next video, I'm gonna take this thing for a drive and show you guys what it's all about. But until then, you'll have to come back next week and see what I tear up. I'll see you later guys.